describe the post fertilization changes in a flower now what changes occurs after fertilization they are called as post fertilization now let us see what changes occurs after fertilization in a flower so in sexual reproduction the events that occur after the formation of zygote is called as post fertilization now zygote is formed by the process of fertilization so the changes which occurs in the zygote all these events they are called as post fertilization events now in a flowering plants zygote is formed inside the ovule now let us of us quickly recall the structure of the flower so here is a pea flower these are the outer whorl that is sepal petals andrisium that is a stamen unit of andrisium is stamen now this structure it has anther and the filament now this structure over here is a gynecium it includes carpel the carpel includes stigma styline ovary now the process of this fertilization occurs inside the ovule so these are the ovules these green structures over here are the ovules now inside this ovule the embryo sac is present the egg would be present so all the fertilization occurs inside the ovule now after fertilization occurs changes which occurs in the flower would be as follows so here if you observe the stage the first second and the third stage we can see the petals which are present the the main role of petals would be to attract the pollinating agents so once fertilization has taken place there is no requirement of these petals so they fall off so these petals will fall off and in some cases even the sepals would fall but in case of pea the sepals are present the andrisium would fall off only the gynecium or the pistil remains attached so the structures the accessory structures and the unwanted structures present in the flower would fall off after fertilization sepals petals and stamens of the flower wither and fall off but in some cases the sepals would be still present the pistil remain attached to the flower the zygote develops into the embryo now the zygote will develop into the embryo these ovule will develop into the seed so ovule is developing into the seed the ovary in which the ovule is present that will develop into the fruit so in case of pea plant the fruit is nothing but the pod so this is the fruit and wall of the ovary will develop into the wall of the fruit which is called pericarp the ovary wall develops into the fruit wall which is called as pericarp now the pericarp is protective in function after the dispersal of the fruit and the seeds the seed germinate to form a new plant under suitable condition now once this fruit burst the seeds are released if the environmental conditions are supported then the seed germinates it give rise to the new plant so the changes in the flower after fertilization that is after fertilization would be the petals and the andrisium will fall the sepals here it remains ovule develops into the seed ovary develops into the fruit the wall of the ovary develops into the fruit wall that is pericarp and after seed dispersal that is dispersal of the fruits and the seeds the seeds germinate into new plant